and we are back. So, in the last video, I was sort of reevaluating how I am going to approach this. Just so that I could give the best information I possibly can to whoever is going to be viewing this. And I think the first thing that I would mention is that it is probably better to put the shield into the case first as attaching it to the board may cause some confusion with alignment and it just seems better to do it this way in which you can align these little plastic nubs we can see that there are little plastic posts here which fit this shield into place. Also something to keep in mind is that on the other video, didn't realize I made this mistake, but this is going to be the underside of the board where all the chips are. This is going to be the top side where we have the cartridge connector pointing outwards toward the console or toward the opening of the console. And I had this cartridge connector upside down, so I would recommend being careful. And making sure you don't make that mistake. Because you won't be able to reassemble the console if you do that. So we want this RF module area to go into these recessed cavities first. And then slowly push down the rest of the board so that this cartridge connector that is not utilized fits within these three metal plates. Could take some wiggling, however, it's just going to snap into place just like that. And then from here, you can lift up the console the board, I should say, and then reconnect the controller port connectors. So controller port 2, which is going to be on the right, is going to connect into the side, like so. Connector port 1 is going to connect in the front. Like so. The connector for the power button and the reset switch, or reset button power switch, however you like to call it, is going to route down into the right with these little plastic notches facing upwards, and then connecting into the right side of the console. Take special care to route the cables in such a manner that they are not going to block any of the screw posts. So, something like this. And this one's a little story. Let's try moving it down there. And there we go. So I just realized that I also mentioned that would be opening <clears throat> or possibly opening this RF shield to take a look on the inside. I think along with opening the switches, I will also leave that for another video since in this particular case, these are actually looks to be riveted together. These two metal pieces are uh, holding this clamshell sort of shut. So we do want to make sure the cartridge connector has a good connection. Push these cables downward. <clears throat> and then from here, we can take our cartridge loading mechanism and proceed 
to reinstall it back to the way it was. Something to keep in mind is that we do have this plastic lip so that when we are reassembling the, con the console or this little tray mechanism forward, we want to make sure that this goes underneath the board while we're attempting to reassemble it. So taking the loading mechanism at an angle, we can insert it above. this connector and then after we clear the post in the front sort of wiggle it from side to side to determine that there is a uh, that it's that little lip is under the board and giving it a quick lift we can see that the rest of the board moves with it so and now it is connected or at least it's situated as it should be. We can also see that the screw posts align with the holes on this connector. <coughs> so from here, <coughs> we can go ahead and insert the two screws that belong on the shield, as well as the four screws that belong on the cartridge loader, that tray mechanism. So the two screws that go onto the shield are going to be over here in the top left and the top right. I'm holding the console sideways, but the top left and the top right of this cartridge loader. And now the top two screws of this cartridge litter, seeing where these holes align. Okay. So it will not be the top hole, it will be the bottom hole which is going to take these screws. Installing the long ones at the top, the short ones at the bottom. I certainly hope that when I was disassembling this, I also said that that would be ideal. Okay. Now the bottom two in these holes. Settling, repositioning the screws, making sure mm -hmm. that all of them are situated as they should be. Great. Now we are coming towards the end. We have seven screws to install on this shield, and then the remaining six screws to close the console. So placing this shield back over this tray mechanism, we can proceed with installing the seven screws around the perimeter. I will go ahead and start from the left. Two. 
Oh, yes. Hmm. Well then, it looks like I have made a mistake. Fairly easy to do that kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, we will return after these related messages.